I recognize uh, Mr. Stauber for five minutes. You are recognized, Mr. Stauber. Uh, thank you, Madam Chair. Uh, Mr. Secretary, thanks for coming today. Um, you are um, aware of uh, uh, transportation issues, and um, do you know what the most inland port in North America is or Crackson in the United States is? I'm guessing it's in Minnesota. Do you know where? The most inland measured from the coasts or uh, from the Great Lakes? The most inland port is the port of Duluth Superior. Duluth, right. And I'm very proud to represent that a lot of, um, a lot of uh, commodities uh, and uh, economic value come mm -hmm. to and from. And I also appreciate your support for the Sulox. That money's got to continue because that helps the Midwest. So um, I just want to talk to you a little bit about the chip shortage. As you know, we want to reshore it. And uh, um, I think that we, when you reshore it, you also have to reshore the minerals. Um, you're aware, uh, or maybe I'm going to make you aware, that the biggest copper nickel find in North America is in northeastern Minnesota, which we call the Iron Range. The Iron Range has mined 80 uh, percent, the iron ore that makes 80 percent of this America, uh, America's steel. So if we have Buy America provisions, we have to have the Iron Range full steam ahead. Would you agree with that? Uh, I don't want to weigh in outside of my lane in terms of uh, uh, production, but I certainly agree that uh, we need to make sure we're onshoring or nearshoring raw materials that are going into the And we have to keep our iron and, uh, industry uh, front and center. That's a strategic national security. So when you talk about um, the, the chips, you know that a F Ford F-150 gasoline has a three th or 300 chips and then the the, uh, the EV has 3,000. When you take critical minerals offline you allow foreign adversarial countries to mine that. And I'm just going to give you an example, cobalt. Mm. The vast majority of cobalt is mined in the Congo using child foreign slave labor. I think you would agree you'd rather mine those minerals in the United States under the best environmental and best labor standards. Would that be correct, Mr. Secretary? Yes, yeah, so if we have a choice in where to source any of these, uh, we would certainly prefer that it be in the U.S. Yeah. Your administration just took 234,000 acres of opportunity to mine critical minerals. And let me tell you about the Duluth complex. It has 95% of our nickel reserve, 88% of our cobalt, over one-third of our copper, and other platinum group metals. And your administration won't even allow an EIS on a project-specific review. And you, you were just talking about an EIS, and you know, Mr. Secretary, the EIS is the highest uh, look from the federal government. They wouldn't even allow a project-specific review of an EIS on a mining project. So when you want to transition, and when we transition to electric vehicles, why don't we have an administration that supports mining in the United States. And by the way, there was a project labor agreement in that. All union labor from northern Minnesota. Hundreds of jobs and secondary jobs. And so I would just, uh, I would submit to you that uh, we need to mine in the United States. So we hold a destiny in the palm of our own hands. And the, the administration doesn't seem to understand that. And, and I would ask you this. Um, and I, I, think I, I think I know the answer. You do not support slave labor. Is that correct? Of course. Okay. This administration doesn't understand. We, we, we can remove ourselves from child slave labor by mining in the United States and making sure our allies get these critical minerals from, from countries like the United States. Amnesty International, by uh, nonpartisan, has said mm. we have to stop allowing... Uh, uh, slave labor, child slave labor. And, 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 and I, would, I would submit to you, we are able, ready, and willing, Mr. Secretary, to mine these critical minerals. We have to have an administration that has the political will to do it. And it doesn't. In October of 2020, then-candidate Joe Biden said to the American people, we are going to mine these minerals domestically. That was a breath of fresh air for northern Minnesota and the Iron Range. Now, President Biden says we're going to source those minerals from foreign nations. That, Mr. Secretary, is unacceptable. That's what we talk about. We can onshore and use American labor with the best American, uh, le environmental standards and labor standards in the world. And I would ask you to go back to your administration specifically 
the President of the United States, and allow us to mine these minerals here in the United States. And I yield back.